Hello everyone, and welcome back to Street Crime UK. In today's video, we're going to take a look at Mr. Bartley Gorman, the undisputed gypsy fighting king. So just how did this seemingly normal travel man from Nottingham, England go on to be labelled the king of the gypsies? Well, in this video, we're going to break it down and have a look. But as always, if you enjoy UK crime content, make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button and use the notification bell if you never want to miss an upload from us again. So let's begin, shall we? Gypsies and travellers are people who live a nomadic lifestyle and consider travel to be an important part of their ethnic or cultural identity. The Irish travellers are an ethnic group in Ireland with their customs, language and traditions. Many people spend all or part of their year in the United Kingdom. One of the things that are accustomed in the travelling community is bare knuckle boxing. The original form of boxing, bare knuckle boxing is closely related to ancient combat sports. It involves two people fighting without the use of boxing gloves or other hand protection. The difference between street fighting and bare knuckle boxing is that the latter has a set of established rules, such as not striking a downed opponent. The London prize ring rules were the rules that governed bare knuckle boxing for much of the 18th and 19th centuries. With the American promotion, bare knuckle fighting championship, bare knuckle boxing has seen a resurgence in the 21st century. Modern bare knuckle boxing is only practiced on a small scale around the world. Among the competitions are bare knuckle boxing and ultimate bare knuckle boxing, otherwise known as BKBTM in the United Kingdom, bare knuckle fighting championship, BKFC in the United States, and Top Dog Fighting Championship in Russia, Top Dog FC. There are a few differences between traditional glove boxing rules and modern bouts. Any knockdown triggers an 18 second countdown. The 18 count is used only in BKBTM, whereas the traditional 10 count is used in BKFC. One man who lived for bare knuckle boxing was Bartley Gorman, who was born on the 1st of March 1944 to English parents Samuel and Katie Gorman, who did not like fighting at all. Bartley supposedly had his first bare knuckle fight at the age of 12, which is hard to believe given modern day standards. Well, this is according to press reports anyway. In certain respects, he thought he was the natural heir to his great grandfather Boxing Bartley. Ireland's King of the Tinkers in the 19th century and his grandfather Bulldog Bartley another undefeated bare knuckle boxer, so he felt a lot of pressure growing up. In the realm of illegitimate gypsy fighting, he reigned supreme from 1972 to 1992. He was the undisputed king of bare knuckle boxing. He fought in a mine shaft, a dump, horse fairs, campsites, bars and parties, and on the street throughout these years, and even challenging infamous London brawlers Lenny McLean and Roy Shaw. Nathan Gorman, Huey Fury, and Tyson Fury are the three of Bentley Gorman's relatives who have gone on to become professional boxers in recent years, with Tyson Fury having a 24-0 record. I think it's safe to say he inherited a lot of the strong fighting genes from his family. Bare knuckle fighting was regarded as a legal and acceptable practice by gypsies. As well as a means of expression, young gypsy boys dream of becoming the champion boxer of their patch of territory. Just like young boys are today aspire of being David Beckham or other celebrities, these young boys wanted to be the best boxer of their patch. Bartley Gorman was 28 years old, 6 foot 1 and weighed 15 and a half stones when he captured the title of bare knuckle champion of Great Britain and Ireland after defeating the competitor Jack Fletcher in a contest at an abandoned quarry. According to reports online, this was a brutal and bloody fight. However, things weren't always easy for Bartley. He was nearly murdered by an armed crowd at St. Leaguer's Day in 1976. He had arrived preparing to face Ricky Top Hat Donahue, but was instead attacked by the gang, who had allegedly been paying £25,000 to carry out the assault. It's unknown who exactly ordered the attack, but it was likely someone trying to make a name for themselves in the gypsy community. In his novel, Bartley explains, I arrived at the agreed upon time of 10.30am. But he, Mr. Donoghue, was nowhere to be found, and it was strangely quiet, and almost out of nowhere 25 plus men with crowbars and bricks emerged. I was thrashed mercilessly. I was knocked unconscious and don't remember much about it. 
After David Pierce KO'd former WBA World Heavyweight Champion John Tate in California, Bartley Gorman and David Pierce agreed to compete for the World Unlicensed Championship. Dave Pierce is Britain's best gorgeous fighting guy, and I am the king of the gypsies, Gorman said. If I win, I'll challenge Muhammad Ali to a contest for the crown. This was made possible by their friendship with Paddy Monaghan, and a former bare knuckle boxer and Ali's mate. If Pierce participated, the BBC threatened him with a worldwide ban. Pierce was pressured to decline and was saddened as a result, feeling like he let his legacy down. Muhammad Ali, who was nicknamed the greatest, is widely regarded as one of the most significant and celebrated sporting figures of the 20th century. And he was one of Bartley Gorman's heroes, and he based much of his fighting technique and skills on this. He dreamed at one day challenging Muhammad for the world championship. It seemed that Bartley Gorman had never lost a fight until he announced his retirement from boxing after getting a draw with Graham O'Loughlin Kennedy. Gorman died on a traveller site in Uttoxeter, England on the 18th of January 2002, where he had spent his final days. For Uttoxeter, he was more of a town wonder, where they honoured him by inscribing his name on their Millennium Monument alongside such illustrious Staffordshire greats as Joseph Bamford, the founder of JCB. So this shows that he was pretty well revered and well known. Not only was he a well known and revered person in his own culture, but his fame had spread far and wide, catching the attention of even his hero, Muhammad Ali, who knew exactly who Bartley Gorman was, and even somewhat admired his heart and his fighting spirit. It is reported that the pair even met and practiced sparring together, with Muhammad Ali saying that Gorman had a great technique. During a 2014 interview, actor Tom Hardy said that Bartley Gorman's voice was an influence for Bane's accent in the 2012 film, The Dark Knight Rises. According to rumor, Bartley Gorman is credited with helping to inspire professional wrestler Wade Barrett's Bullhammer elbow finisher, which is known simply as the Bullhammer, which further serves to demonstrate the spectacular amount of recognition his fame and reputation have survived over the years. Gorman's 210-page autobiography, King of the Gypsies, was completed just before his death in 2001 with the help of Peter Walsh. Gorman tells an unflinching but moving story about a man driven to fight and suffer by the weight of his violent family history. According to the book, he was only nine years old when he first witnessed the horrors of violence. Bartley witnessed his uncle being killed by a rogue showman's single punch. Something like that must have gone on and messed him up really badly over his years. Tales of brutal fights at fairs, racetracks and bars take up a large portion of the book as you would expect, so it's worth a read if you get the chance and it's available to download on Amazon. Peter Walsh, who knew Bartley for the last 18 months of his life, summarises him as follows. He was a one-of-a-kind individual. He was a lovely man with a wicked sense of humour, but a perpetual sense of melancholy. And when you look up the meaning of the word melancholy, it says a feeling of pensive sadness, typically with no obvious cause. Which is pretty heartbreaking to think that that's how he felt at the end of his life after achieving so much within the travelling community. In 1995, Shane Meadows, an English director and screenwriter, filmed a short documentary called King of the Gypsies. To be honest, it's an outstanding documentary. The film gives an honest and humble insight into the life of undefeated world champion bare knuckle boxer Bartley Gorman. A true legend in which he interviewed Gorman about his life. Some poor quality clips are available on YouTube if you want to check them out for yourself, although the picture quality is not great, but you do get to hear Bartley's distinctive voice. So guys, that was the brief and somewhat sad story of the life and career of Bartley Gorman. Let us know in the comments section below what you think about this gypsy fighting king. To us, he seemed like an interesting character that lived his life on his own terms. Also, let us know if there are any other UK true crime cases that you would like to see us cover here on the channel. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more content. As always, stay safe.